The world's most valuable luxury brand, LVMH, has opened the doors of its top fashion houses this weekend to allow the public to experience the human side of luxury. The group, which includes Dior and Louis Vuitton, launched the free experience in 2011, but this is the first one since the pandemic. Hundreds of thousands of people from around the world are attending the events, which include masterclasses and the chance to see craftsmen at work. Our correspondent Sarah Coates visited one of the Maisons in Paris and asked Antoine Arnaud, who oversees image and environment at LVMH, where the inspiration came from. Ten years ago, um, I had uh, a little bit of a discomfort with the way our group was being perceived. Um, we were growing very fast, and it's true that we had a few acquisitions that uh, were maybe uh, misrepresented in the uh, press opinion and uh, everything I saw every day when I came to work, when I went to visit our different uh, ateliers was only one thing. It was the passion that our artisans, our craftsmen had for their job, for the maisons that they were working for. And, uh, and I felt that we needed to maybe be a little bit more transparent. And, uh, and I thought instead of doing a communication campaign that always seems a little fake, why don't we just open our doors? And so I created the Journée Particulière where uh, 11 years ago, so it was uh, 25 maisons who, who opened their doors uh, in 25 locations. And this year, for the fifth edition, it's 96 houses, I mean 96 locations, I apologize, uh, of about 50 maisons who, uh, who are completely uh, open with visitors who come freely and n in a non-commercial event to discover those uh, incredible know-hows. And what sort of reactions have you been getting from people who come through the doors? So the reactions are always uh, of uh, amazement. Uh, they're always uh, full of, uh, uh, they're very grateful, uh, first of all, to be able to enter in those places that are usually secretive. Um, it's people who, you know, usually work uh, in, in solitary uh, mode. Um, and, and there are secrets that we, one weekend every couple of years, show to, to those customers. So they feel uh, very special. Um, and um, what makes me even more moved is how important it is for the craftsmen, almost more than for the visitors. I mean, the visitors are very happy, it's rare, but it's almost like visiting a museum. It's something they're used to. Our craftsmen, it's, uh, it's really unique for them, one weekend every couple of years, to actually um, you know, show, explain, and uh, be the center of attention. And Mr. Arno, your brands are all about luxury. Tell me... How do you define luxury and how do you sort of strike that balance between tradition and the future, between old and new? Uh, I think it's two uh, legs of the same body, if I, if I can express like this. It's very important to, to have both, to be very respectful of what uh, we represent, of the values of every each and single brand. They're not the same. Huh? We have 75 maisons. Each brand is independent. Each has its own codes, its own history, its own traditions. We respect those independently. But then it's also very important to be uh, you know, uh, aware of the future, understand the younger generations, and be relevant for them. So sort of walking on that thin line of a tradition and innovation is, I think, the most important thing for us. Tell me, what is the future of luxury in your eyes? Uh, it's quite simple. It's to continue to do well what we do now. Um, continue to have a you know great craftsmen who who uh, with passion and uh, dedication uh, work for our 75 brands. Maybe grow a little bit uh, here or there uh, when it's uh, possible. Maybe this uh, uh, period will will also give opportunities. We'll see. But uh, continue to do well what we know how to do.